Welcome to today's video, Dad Dude's Glasses. Um, so I'm, today I'm gonna be going over everything you need to know about harnesses. And I'm gonna be doing this in uh, parts, so you're gonna see what I mean in a second. But um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Woo, Pickle Rick! Woo, Pickle Rick! So I would say first off right off the bat is that one, you're gonna be more close to your seat and um, yeah, you're gonna be um, more close to your seat. That's gonna end today's video. Deuces. All right, so first thing you need to know is that you're, if you're in a pretty decent climate or I mean if you're in a, um, if you're like where I am, it gets hot. It just, that's just how it is. It, your back's gonna get sweaty, that's just, that's just part of the job. Your back's gonna get sweaty, your butt's gonna get sweaty, you're gonna get swamp ass. So that's the first thing you need to know. For me, I went full send, so I don't really care. I mean, I, I enjoy my harnesses, so I accept that fact of having harnesses. All right, so next thing up on the uh, agenda, I would say, is, uh, I would say visibility. Now, visi this is gonna come off as a little weird. This is more like, think think right here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Think right here that, um, you know, uh, it's merging onto a lane, right? And uh, I'm trying to look over, trying to look over. And I can't, there's that, that blind spot between where your mirror can't get to and where you actually have to turn and see. That is probably a pretty big one. I, I, at least for me, it is a big one. I'll ask my girlfriend, I'll be like, hey, is there any, like she'll be in, if she's in the passenger seat, I'll be like, hey, do you see anything? Because I, I can only see a little bit. And that, that's, that's one thing to consider when daily driving with harnesses. Now, this is a pretty big one. This is the, the drive-thru. Now, thing that sucks about having these harnesses, especially if you're not like, if you're like me and you're stubborn and you don't want to unclip this thing because it takes about, I would say 20, no, 15 seconds to put out. I would say 15 seconds compared to a regular seatbelt, that is, two seconds. But one thing I would say is that coming through a drive-thru is kind of a bitch. If you're getting anything more than one drink, it's a bitch and a half. Awesome, thank you. So that might have not been the best example, but it's more like if you're going to have, if you're getting more than any, than one thing, um, it is a bitch and a half because you're just kind of taking everything, unless you want to unbuckle your seatbelt, which you can do, but your boy over here lazy and he don't want to do that. He likes to stay strapped in until he's completely done. Now, I'm gonna call this one the itch. And why I call it the itch is because this part right here will, will grind, it will just like grind, you'll turn or you're just driving and it's just kinda, you'll hit a bump and it just grooves and it just kinda grinds on your neck and it's just nagging, it's just there. More or less, more of the time, so. That is one thing to consider when doing this. Uh, I usually just hike up my uh, my shirt just like this, and I'm cool. All right, so on to the next one. If you're like me, you're at a stoplight, right? Oh, you listen to music on your Bluetooth, you listen in, oh, no, 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 no. I'm changing the, I'm about to change the song. Oh, shit, the light screen. I'm gonna set my phone down, set your phone down, and. You just drop it, you just drop it, it goes underneath the seat, it goes on the side of the seat, and then now you're just driving and you can't really reach for it because you, you, you strapped in. And then your, your phone just starts ringing and you're like, bruh, I, I just can't do this right now. And this car is riding my ass and my phone just fell off and my phone is just ringing right now and I can hear everything and it sucks. Start this one off with called The Gym. 
And what I mean by that is first thing you need to know is that if you're like me, you, you're gonna leave the gym pretty sweaty. I mean, this isn't the best shirt to represent it, but I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty sweaty right now. And usually, I've kind of learned my lesson by now, but usually I bring another shirt that way I can swap. But today I forgot and it's just my luck. I mean, I guess it works out for the purpose of this video. But when you wear the harnesses, your boy is gonna be strapped down to the back and your back's gonna soak into the seat and it's it's not good. It, I mean, I don't like it at least. But I, I forgot to bring a shirt, so it's whatever. Your boy hella sweaty and my back's up against the seat right now. Not good. All right. Now this next one, I'm going to call it the road trip. So I did drive to the beach in this car, uh, that was about a two hour drive, and all honesty, it wasn't that bad, it was pretty good. So road trips and day to day driving, they are relatively the same, I mean obviously with road trips you're going to be in the car longer, but like really there's no difference, I mean the harnesses are pretty comfortable, I don't have a fixed seat, which probably does uh, help out in my favor, but I just have my harnesses going and it it's pretty comfortable um, other than have a sweaty back you know you're pretty much gonna be fine so you don't have too much to worry about so food let's just say you go out with your homies your girl you know you have a big meal you know you feel good you're just like oh I was so hungry and now you get in the car and your seatbelt's tight and it's an uncomfortable ride home and the next one friends when they first get in your car they don't know what the hell is going on. They're like, what is this? I'm like, all right, well, pull the seatbelt over, pull the seatbelt over, and then clip them. Remind you, these are non-car guys, and they're like, whew, what the heck, and they struggle, and then I have to help them. Like, buckling them in when they're like five years old. <sighs> Ooh, see my, uh, I can feel it, my back's sweaty. But man, it has been a while since I have picked up the camera. Holy crap. I've been just so busy. I've been just doing a bunch of other shit. I've been focusing a lot on the gym. Um, this is probably gonna be in the bloopers, if you don't know, I, I do bloopers. Oh, oh, sorry guys, sorry. 